hello welcome back again to this episode of trading i want to share with you a few strategies and what you can do or as a trader you need to avoid and what constantly you need to do to improve your trading thank you everybody for subscribing my, to my channel and taking your time to watch it comment and also asking me for feedbacks and things like that i'm always ready and willing to share with you i'm journey and ready also to answer any of individual questions that you might have trading is really really simple if you can avoid those little things that um, i always say to you you can't force the market to go your way this is a new um, challenge that i'm doing with um, tft and currently in uh, 12,000 profit that is today okay so these are my trades um, i'm scalp i'm trading the us 30 and then i'm about to hit my take profits and also i'm trading um i entered a cell um in the morning on the euro new uh, pound new zealand and also a buy on the card so you see those are long trades so i have stop loss and take profit but i said when i'm scalping i don't okay i don't so because this is about to hit my tp it hits the first tp and i'm aiming the market coming here so that i can get out of the trades if anything at all i can even decide to uh, close them um, yeah so these are things that you need to do i always say you can't force the market you have to stick to your strategy and keep improving upon it every day because that is how you get better you can never ever okay so i have hit my first tp this is just scalping and i don't want to be greedy so as you can see i have closed the us 30 scalping trades on my entry so i'm now left with um, 4500 profits and the equity is 409 so let's say it's 410 i need 30 grand more in order to hit my um, first challenge and move on yeah so most people force their trades and um, you don't actually don't understand why they do that and also how to avoid losing okay losing your funded account because when you are funded I believe that um, giving 10 maximum lot size to trade every every on, on each currency is even bigger. You don't have to go because if, if the company just like TPT don't manipulate, okay, because when I'm scalping, as you see, it could last for 30 seconds, it could last for 15 seconds. So let me just give you an example. I could just be in the market like like this um, I could just be in the market like that okay Pum. then I'm out okay this trade lasted less than um, 20 seconds this is how I scalp so when I'm out I could re-enter the market again okay I could re-enter the market again like okay I'm going to go into the market again then I could re-enter the market again like okay bam okay so and and the two trade didn't even last me one minute so if you do this and they tell you um, you have violated your account then okay um, it is really really stupid okay so like you can see i have three trades now and all of them have even not lasted more than you see so and i can go and close the trade like bam
okay but i'm out i'm just not trading i'm just showing you how fast you scalp so apart from this closing and re-enter trade maybe um, in one minute you can have three or four trades if they don't manipulate the market and tell you because their system couldn't record your trade you violated i don't see why you should look at this is um, a long trade okay this trade this card trade i'm going to close it in the evening that's why i have 13 point two and i i know my stop loss and stuff like that but this example the pound new zealand is five lot size okay so this will give me a minimum of 100 pip so if i don't close it at 100 um, if it gives me 100 pip that is five grand and you can have trades like this two or three in a month that is enough to pay you so you see why i close my trade because of i hit my first take profit and i i noticed that is going to redraw so if i didn't close the trade like that's almost 100 pips that i am um, i was losing so this is important to know your trading levels sticking to your your strategy and um yes always sticking to your strategy using your strategy and and sticking to them and and trusting in them practicing and getting better at them so this is what i have said so you you don't need to be putting in like 20 pip 50 per point on currencies if you if you do you remember this is a full-time job okay you're not here to gamble you're managing money and you're just like every job has um, upside and downside if you are a nurse if your risk management is not good then your patients are people that are going to die okay you're going to lose that's um, human life at at stake and um, if you are engineering also as a pro project control engineer okay if you don't do your schedules right it's going to come back to 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 scam you i have a program that i'm working on now i can show you for confidentiality and um it's going to cost over five million in claims because of a poor preparation of the tender and poor preparation of the program so as a trader as well you are fund manager you are managing money your main goal is to make money and your risk have to be very tight because you don't want to be losing money so even if um, you have you don't have any restrictions okay if you don't even have assuming you don't have any restrictions on your account and you can go in and do whatever lot sizes that you want i don't believe that you should be doing occasionally like you see somebody can have you have to manage your risk okay if these two trades to take me out i will not lose more than five thousand okay and that is my i'll show you my daily loss so i can't have 10 10 20 10 like 10 trades there where each of them is 10 lot 10 lot 10 lot that is too risky because in 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 the market what people you don't realize is that we are not alone we are trading with big boys people using algorithm the banks using the algorithms to move the market up to move the market down if you are alone it will be easier because you just place buy and bam you've made five million or ten million you know and you're running away so there is nothing like certainty okay that is why you need to um have a very strong risk reward and be patient with your entries okay and if you have to put yourself in a position that at the end of the month okay 
through your trading day maybe in five trading days or in ten trading days you have your account is up maybe five percent or ten percent okay so if you're managing two hundred thousand account and you've made them um, ten thousand in 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 ten days all you need to do is meet if you have a minimum trading days you can do 10 p 10 p and meet the minimum trading day and take the rest of the month off because as a project control engineer i earn on contract basis 500 pounds daily or more but you might say that's a lot of money but it's not worth it con considering the stress that you have to go through okay you have to work 10 hours daily sometimes more people make mistakes and it affects your job and you have to do you have to deal with put up with a whole lot of things including racism and a whole lot of things and if you can be consistent trading from your home there is no peace like that okay you have time quality time to spend with the family you have so many things going for you you have a whole lot of things going for you you have peace nobody is shouting at you so why don't you take your time learn perfect your thing and you see don't put pressure on yourself like oh this month i need to make i need to get paid so that i i will i can pay my bills if this is the, then you need to keep um, doing your day job until you have enough money in your bank account that if you don't get paid f for three months you can still cover your bills that's not going to be a problem for you because the, 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 the reality is each month is different each month the market move different and based on your strategies you could go to three months you haven't you will not lose your account but you wouldn't get paid but when you have that extra pressure that um, I need to get paid in order to be able to pay my, my, my rent or my bills or whatever, then even when you don't have a trade, you're going to force a trade. And once you keep doing this, you're going to lose your account. You're going to blow your account. You're going to violate maximum um, daily rule. So you need to be patient. You need to um, study your market each each night when the market closed or whatever your strategy is. You need to study. You need to be humble. You don't need to put extra pressure on yourself. You you need to understand that this is business. It's okay to take losses and come back, but your losses doesn't have to be in such a way that if you lose one trade, you blow all your account. Okay, that is no trading that is gambling so stop gambling stop gambling and do um, the right things which will get you to the level that you want because you can have a um, full trade you can have a full trade you can have a full trade so i will leave this now here and next time i'm going to come up with something like it share it and uh, i'm going to show you then show you things to do um other things that i'm doing and i can yeah so that's great and also like i said sometimes i'm doing this big big lot size because i'm doing a challenge so when i have a lot a setup on the currencies i can do 30 a pip because i want to hit my challenge profit but then i know what i'm doing so i'm not scared okay i know what i'm doing so i'm not scared so i will show you i do make mistakes like everybody says we, we are not perfect okay i am not perfect i do make mistakes so 
I want to show you because I should have been done with this account and funded but because I made a mistake but I've come back again okay so this is um the funded trader okay so as you see I'm in 19 days now and um, I lost my I went down the account went on a drawdown okay so you can see where we came and then you started off well okay then yes so i should have been actually um down so you can see the equity curve yes so the the, the rule is it doesn't matter how hard you fall but if you believe in your strategy and then you follow everything it doesn't matter when you fall you can always come back okay you can always come back and rise above the occasion so hopefully i'm going to ace it um, and have um, self-control and then do things um, the right way and yes take things to the next level um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.